What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do this show, Fix Friday, every Friday. And I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays every other day. I do whatever I feel like. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me today um, for this episode of Fixed Fridays. I'm very uh, proud to present four player fixed with Champion Ever, Cosmic Cowboy, and Parlox, all amazing players in their own right. Settings are 60 second turns, world domination, classic fixed with blizzards on, alliances, and fog are off balance blitz dice expert ai but we don't have any and i'm in the second position <laughs> looks like i have an okay africa play yeah i see what champ is asking me to do champ wants sa and he's going to give me africa And we'll see how that one works out. In the first position, we've champion ever. The man, the myth, the legend, Risk Forever VCC. Go check him out on YouTube. If you don't know Champ, I don't know how you know me. From Lithuania. With 2,028 hours played, 1985 wins, and 1,340 losses. In the second position, we have myself. This is the main P account, Kill Pete Strategy VCC. On YouTube, 1,422 hours played, 1,785 wins, and six. 56 losses. In the third position, we have Parlox, top 10 player from Israel and a friend of mine. 450 hours played with 1736 wins and 158 losses. And finally, we have Cosmic Cowboy on YouTube. Go check him out too. I'll link both Champ and Cowboy stuff in the show notes. And Cowboy's record looks like this. 342 hours played with 233 wins and 159 losses. Cowboy um, <clears throat> distinguishing himself as a back-to-back free-for-all tournament finalist. And I get Africa on the second turn. I like that. Parlox is not going to like that. But maybe Parlox gets Europe. We'll see how that one goes. I don't trust any of these guys. <laughs> They're all very good at risk. One thing you do like about the four-player fixed thing is it accelerates... The board is very stable very quickly. Prolox picks off champ in Asia. Everyone still has occupation in North America. I have the best continent at the moment. Cowboy has the most troops. Cowboy going to get a guaranteed take on champ in Central Canada. Pulls his stack to guard Siam. Sure. These two blizzards make it so that I can have a nice, comfortable pocket. Whoa. Champ hits Parlox out of NA. Strong. Yeah. These blizzards make it so I can have a nice, comfortable pocket up here. So that's the road I'm going to try. So I'm going to make sure I get my take there. We're now guarding with five stacks. Six in the middle. Easy take that way. If the two wants to go that way, that's fine. I can consolidate the three. But what I'm trying to do is if I guard these three positions, I can actually hold a pocket up there. And that will just add to my troop count because I'll be able to hold 12 territories. And then I'll get an extra troop on top of the three I get for holding Africa. Parlox is looking weak. It's either Parlox or Champ that goes first. Tries to hold... Yeah, oops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he knows he's in trouble. That's the thing. Right? There's no reason for Cowboy or I to let him hold Europe. Because he isn't really threatening retaliation. So I think Parlox knows he's dead. <laughs> I 
But then we're in a three-player situation. It's not looking so great for Champ either. What's Champ's play here? Yeah, to be passive and build, which makes sense. Um, so in this situation, seeing as how I am going to break Parlocks, I hope he doesn't have a set, really. I don't have a set on four either. Tries to retake, yeah. This could be one of those situations where he, he hits me back. But it's the way it's gotta be. Oh my god, cowboy laughs. That's a mean-spirited laugh, cowboy. It's gonna be a quick one. Um, one thing you'll notice from Champ's work is he's a very active classic fixed player, and he's encouraging the community to um, play a much more active role, right? You, you rarely see stalemates in Champ's games, which is a great, um, a great guidepost to follow. Okay, Cowboy breaks this time. We're not giving Parlox a chance to rebuild. Champ continues the pylon. Guarding Africa with eight stacks, I get my easy take in Siberia. And I'm setting up a barrier such that I can hold 12 territories and accrue value in this northern corner of Asia. Well, I was going to try and consolidate into himself. Turtle up, maybe? I think it's too little too late. Oh, do we have a bot out? Yeah, he says I'll have more luck as a bot. There we go. And he's probably right. Let's see if we hit this bot mutually. Hmm. Cowboy goes for the opportunistic play. Doesn't hit the bot. Champ sets in with the six. Champ hits the bot. <laughs> Probably says I quit. I said maybe your bot does better. <laughs> okay. Um... I am the strongest player. I was thinking about the most effective way to hit this bot. So the obligation falls on me a bit to hit him a little bit. <laughs> Otherwise, we just let the bot grow. Which is, I mean, you guys might be familiar with that game I played with Champ, where the bot ended up beating us both in the end game. So it's a thing. If you leave the bot alone too much and fix, they will win the game. Okay, Cowboy now in the lead in terms of troops. 55 troops. holding 13 territories, that's going to be good for me to start establishing extra value. And Cowboys leaving his 9 there in case I try and break Alaska. He's going for 
the North America plan. So Cowboy's trying to take the lead by not hitting the bot. Yep, Champ's doing his part. going to hit one of my threes. Cowboy can get the kill on the Parlock spot, get four cards for 13. I think he takes it. Yeah. He takes the kill now. So we're in a three-player game, and I'm in the middle. I don't like that. Cowboy has the most troops. Can Cowboy lose here? Still holding 12 territories, which is nice. I would hope Champ hits up this way a little bit. I think that's all he does, though. Yeah. See, I don't know Champ so well. It's, it's truly uh, a privilege to play with someone so good. Classic fixed. Holding 12 territories. Yeah. I mean... Lucky number 13. I want to control this pocket. No one is in Europe yet. But I didn't want to hit champ because I don't want Cowboy to pull to too early of a lead. Okay, Cowboy's going to take me out of that pocket. He's going to try and hold Asia. No, just hits the stack. Oh. Okay, he's backing out of Europe. I think that's a mistake. He, or rather, North America. Cowboy's giving champ North America. That's a mistake. Now I take Europe. I think that was an error. So now Cowboy's in Asia. Champ has North America. I take Europe. Yep, breaks me. Now what? Where do you put your stack? Do you consolidate? Keeps punching, breaks, breaks uh, NA as well. Nice, cool, okay. So this game is nice and balanced again. I have the most territories and I have the best bonus. Long term, this situation is good for me. <laughs> yeah, I made sure to guard my Africa still, right? So I still have the three-point guard on Africa. No one can break my actual continent bonus. Still holding 15 territories. <laughs> Champ's going to try and take NA again. These two armies are locked against each other. Ooh, I got a nice set. I'll take that. So the reason I didn't take it 
<laughs> He's just going to punch me back nice. The reason I didn't take it is because this actually appears less threatening, but it accomplishes the same goal. Cowboy's on his toes thinking he's not going to break champ in North America. So we consolidate here. Give me a chance to pull my... Oh, he does break. Okay. Cool. I think Cowboy loses this game because he pisses off both of us. But champ is in third place in terms of troops. I only have a slight lead. I'm going to give him his Australia back. Champ gets his easy take. And Cowboy has 69 troops. You can have it, my friend. You can have your Australia. This is a great game. Yeah, takes Australia back, but doesn't guard. Sure, you want to go this way. I mean, I have to work with both of these guys. <laughs> hmm. Okay, champ gets the 10 match. Comes right back up. I'm in a slight lead. Ooh, he says get the fuck out. We're gonna slow roll the stack. This is good for me. I'm a shitty friend to Cowboy because I let him consolidate his armies, but I but I break his bonus again. Sure, he's going to remove seven of my troops. Sure. Ties us up. I'm at 77. Cowboy's at 75. Champ's at 60. This game is still nice and balanced. Yeah, so what you do is you connect here and you pull your 21 all the way back, right? No, he pushes in. He's hitting Champ. Okay, still good for me. This is progression. Cowboy would like me to work with him to kill Champ. feel like, alternatively, this is an opportune time to just be a greedy fuck. So, y'all know me. Four position guard on Europe and Africa. 82 troops. Who's gonna stop me? Maybe champ. Maybe Cowboy, probably Cowboy. Cowboy goes right, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay. We're balanced again. Now I have 69 troops, 68 troops. Yeah, balanced game. Good. Good, good, good. Champ takes North America again.
After all that, Cowboy establishes a second bonus. Not guarding from champ. Are we happy with this? Champ now has the lead at 75 troops. I'm matching in, though. And I hold a ton of the board. I think I'm going to hold my Joker. So I can set in next turn, if need be. I'll let Champ break me. I don't think Cowboy's going to hit me there. I think Champ's going to hit me there, though. We also should probably clear Cowboy out of Asia, then. <laughs> Yeah, that I totally saw coming. There was no reason for him to not do that one. Um, I don't think he has the force to punch me here. He can punch back down. That gives Champ the lead. Yeah, thinking. I like it. I like making you think, dude. <laughs> yep. Seems good. Okay, champ now in the lead at 91. Would like to go through me? Would like to weaken me further? Hmm. I'm just getting great rolls, too. Yeah, so this is bad, right? If that keeps going, then I lose. See if I get really good dice. I mean, Champ got really good dice, right? Yeah, these are good. This counts as good dice. Not that one, though. Yeah. I'll stop there. Now the weakest player. 
Yep, up to Cowboy to break. Let's see if he does. Yeah, so we lose. Champ wins. I get third, Cowboy gets second. So, there's no reason for me to not suicide at this point, because I've already lost. But seeing as how people don't find that very fun, I'm going to pretend like I'm playing to win. can do that. It's not over till it's over. True totals are more balanced. Champ still in the lead at 66. Cowboy very close behind at 63. No, he wants North America, right? Cowboy takes the lead back with 74 troops. Doesn't have to do much.
take Europe, but I'm not going to hold it. The champ's going to take North America. Yeah, this way uh, champ doesn't have to break Europe. Hmm, and he wants a stable border. Ooh, well then. Let's end this game. I think Cowboy can actually kill me right now, which he should, because he's already in second place. Champ kills me. GG. He's not killing me? Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, I get third. breaks here from there so he doesn't open up the 41 stack holds the board champ wins next turn yeah we learned something about cowboy so either way the move of locking him in his position um ends the game so the question is who does he choose to pump into because if he if he repositioned and pumped into champ then the game would have been balanced but the patience was over and that's it this was a good one i hope you guys enjoyed Hope you found some of it fun, entertaining, um, maybe educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays. And I do this show, Fixed Friday, every Friday. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.